Welcome to Talking Mayhem Mania. It is the hottest show on the internet. I am your host and master of ceremonies, Chad the Shad for Mayhem Mania here. We have with us Mad Mike. Yeah. Tina Keys. Hello, hello. Ronnie Starks. Hello. And our friend mainstream Matt. Ring the bell! <laughs> ding, ding. What All right, we're going to get into this. A lot to cover, Matt. You haven't been on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run down the moves, of course, and you tell me who made them. Righto. Okay. Let's do it. Now we had five contestants this evening. Mr. Ronnie Starks, mm. Tina, mm. Our guest, Ronnie Nicole, Mm -hmm. Sorg, Mm -hmm. and Mad Mike. Mm. Now, When are we cutting off the moves for Mad Mike? Don't you think he's uh, been playing every week? I got got Alex Cars this week and last week. He did. He did get Alex Cars. So manipulative. He's actually been picked on. I don't want to get Alex Cars, sir. Maybe maybe his matches stink. Have you ever considered that, Mad Mike? Why have your matches stink? No, actually, because my matches are my matches are so good. A Hall of Famer came back and remade one of them. You know what? The game says your matches stink. So as much as I might like your well, matches, I don't listen to Triple H. The so game that's says fine. Your matches st- are. Right, let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a little fun. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's things coming, Matt. Don't worry. You'll get a little taste of that because we're doing something special on Talking Mayhem Mania tonight. Oh, you're gonna part get a taste. Two. You want a taste? We're doing part really two taste. of what we did on the show earlier okay so uh, let's see i'll give you a move here the beast man match filled with a motley crew of characters was eliminated took me three hours to make that graphic we (laughs) appreciate your hard work hey sorg don't invite beast man back i'm not making him anymore (laughs) and in its place was some wrestlers that I am going to very poorly announce because I can't say their names correctly. I am not well versed, but I think I'm a Mikumir Fuji. Mara Fuji. Fuji Shira. Fuji. Fuji I wrote it phonetically, so I tried to. Uh... Can you spell it for me? What is Mara Fuji? One of Mira them is Mira Fuji. Mira Mira Fuji. Fuji. And and um, versus Mira Suzuki and Tajiri. Suzuki and Tajiri versus Mira Fuji, and I forget who the tag partner. Is. Mira Fuji and some other guy. Um, Mira Ishii. Yes. And we hear Ishii. Wow. Yes. That's that's a lot for me. I was like, ah, I tried to write it phonetically. Just, just write like, Ishii and Mira Fuji. Handwriting uh, is going to run bad, but first of all, um, appreciate appreciate the uh, the Japanese wrestlers getting dropped into this thing. Tina was very helpful. I'm going to guess she made that match since she was so helpful. Helping no, I did not. Again. You your were not? Streak, oh, your streak comes to an end. Dead. Well, you know what, Tina? You're very helpful. <laughs> yes. And when the match was oh, made, I said, oh. Mayhem Mania. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm a, I guess I'm a little rusty from my week off. <laughs> and I said, when the match was made, I was like, oh boy, Matt's going to have a field day with this because this is right up his alley. He's real good with these names. Yeah. That was made by our guest, Ronnie Nicole. Mm. That would have been Another my next guest because I don't remember any of you ever saying the word Marafuji ever before. So. Marafuji. Marafuji. Now <laughs> it's been said. Now it has been said. So it's a good thing. All right, how about this move here? Uh, two superstars were swapped. Mm. Samoa Joe and Johnny Knoxville. So it's Gunther versus uh, Arquette and <laughs> Joe versus Knoxville. Nope. Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Joe, Joe versus... versus- Joe versus Arquette and Joe and, versus and Arquette. Walter, Walter versus, Knoxville. versus Knoxville. My my apologies. Wow. Well, 
first of all, looking forward to both of those matches. Mad Mike, was that you? Yeah, from the guy you said sucked at this game, motherfucker. I didn't say I didn't like your game. Mm. I didn't say I didn't like your mm. matches. I said the game didn't like your matches. <laughs> and I said I don't care what don't your thing. Don't hate the player. I'm not even playing. This makes no sense. This analogy hate sucks. Game. <laughs> oh, <let's continue. laughs> but yeah, that uh, man, man, I had I had been Alex Carr's rules two weeks in a row, mm-hmm. and um, I, I'll be honest, I, I'm I'm done playing nice. Well, you gotta be careful. You know, you're chasing that dragon every week now. Mm-hmm. That Alex <laughs> Carr's role, and keep, can't chase that dragon forever. Eventually, that dragon, that dragon's gonna turn on you. You gotta be careful, Mad Mike. You gotta be careful. That's, you, that's, that's just you your inherent. Game. That's just your inherent distrust of Bobby Fish. <laughs> that's right. I that's true. Bobby Fish. Some of us have an even deeper distrust of Bobby Fish. I but know. that's a story for another day. Damn it, Bobby <laughs> Fish. Damn it, Bobby. All right. Um. <laughs> So here's another move. Mm-hmm. Added to the Fiend Sting match was Danhausen. Okay. Joker Sting. Yes. Did you the like the fact game. that I, I found a Joker a wonderful Sting? Wonderful very... image of Joker Sting. Not as difficult to find as some of you were implying when I was listening back to the episode as you cackled over me having to seek out a picture of Joker Sting. But um we just challenged you, and you you did very. I well. just wanted to see Joker sing again, but there mm-hmm. he was in all his glory. I try not to disappoint when it comes to the uh, the graphics, so I hope you all are enjoying them. I hope this uh, new graphic becomes very good, very evil. We'll First see what Steven. happens. So, who made it? Oh, who added Danhausen? Yeah. Um. That gum. Um, Tina? Tina, you into Danhausen? No. Not yeah. No, no. Starks. Mm. It's Starks. Me. Very cursed. Very Starks. Oh, you, you see, the problem, Chad, is if I don't get the first one, it's, it's all downhill. It's all da- it's mm. like it's like hitting your drive into the rough. Mm. You know, <laughs> then the whole thing is screwed. Now you're screwed. So, now you're three putting and now you're, now yeah, you're in you're, sand pits. You're, you're and, chopping, yeah. you're chopping lettuce, trying to get out of the uh trying to get out of the rough. You're into the you're bunker, hitting it off Frankenstein's the fat feet. foot. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Meeting yep. him in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Very another so the other another move here, uh Jeff Hardy was removed and switchblade Jay White was added in his <gasps> place. Switchblade? My wife wasn't playing tonight. <laughs> not yet phone that in she will be playing in this game who else sometime soon Swords it's going to be darby this? darby switchblade and lee moriarty did, did sorg do that was sorg playing tonight sorg did make that move oh man that's a that's a save from the bunker chad that's what that was right there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. that's All a right. chip in my that's friend that's a chip in right there <laughs> had no business far. going in but it went in so so our last move here, the couples match between the Punks and the Coles were eliminated. Oh, let, 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 let's be let, let's we, we got we got to re we got to readjust our brains when we discuss these couples matches. Chad, it's the Lees and the Bakers. Come on now, you got to understand. I do, I do have it listed: AJ first and Baker mm-hmm. first. Yeah, we got to break those habits. Anyway. Well, they're I gone. I wasn't trying to drag it. What? They, that match is eliminated. Mud, but in its place that. is Brian Danielson, the American Dragon Brian Danielson versus Josh Alexander. Are you sure he's cleared? Danielson? Just yeah, joking. That's been the running gag in this game for years and years. Mm-hmm. Is mm-hmm. Danielson cleared? Hey, is he cleared? Danielson cleared? Is he cleared? Um, Danielson versus... Lee, who? No. No, that's happening in real life. Wait, what? who's Danielson fighting? Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander? I guaranteed that Mayhem Mania could get him a working visa. I'm working on it as we speak. <laughs> uh, Top men Tina, are on it. Tina. Tina, that you? Uh, yes, it is. All right. All right. <laughs> 
Dang it. I just, I, I'm sorry. I just keep guessing you because I, I just want to get it over. No, I don't want to say I want to get it over with, but <laughs> wow. I'm like, I'm like, that's a wow, good wrestler. Damn, that's just no, rude, usually my bro. process Jeez. is like, that's a good wrestler that doesn't get mentioned very often. That must be Tina. You know, mm. <laughs> that's basically what's happening. So it's brain. a respect thing for Tina. You just, it's, I mean, it's always a respect thing. It's a respect thing with everybody. And it's also a compliment to other people who made these matches as well because you are thinking it's Tina because she makes good moves and mm-hmm. it's actually some of our other players. Yeah, that's right. So kudos all around. Learn yeah. a thing or two. Up your up your mayhem many a game. Yeah, learn some things about some new wrestlers and go check them out. That's part of the fun of this game, right? Mm-hmm. Um, is that everyone? Is that all five matches? That's all five. Yeah. I think I only now. Got would you two. like to hear the fun? twist we are adding so twisty of course of course i want to hear the twist so this is going to be uh in conjunction with the elimination chamber both matches both the men's and the women's okay now on the show earlier we did night one where a wrestler in the chamber will represent one of the matches on the card We did a random order, a random draft order, and assigned numbers or letters to uh-huh. each one. Are they entry numbers? Yes. Okay. Now, it goes uh, one and two are the first two in the ring wrestling. Mm-hmm. And then three, four, five, six, with six being the last guy leaving a chamber. Okay. Uh, and what, Mike, we figured it was... Uh, to keep numerical order backwards from six, it was yeah. the first. So the, la- the last person to enter, to, the last person to be introduced is number one. Is number one. Because the last, be the last entrance. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is number one. Fair enough. Now, the here's the twist. Mm-hmm. The first person eliminated in the chamber match, whoever they represent, those wrestlers go to space jail. Oh my god. <laughs> and okay. another another one is the final two. Uh-huh. Those two matches that are represented in the final two are auto graduated. Wow, two matches. Oh my goodness. Because we've been delaying auto graduation and and such. So we we we're popping it off here that way not one person wins not one match graduates because if you're brock lesnar you're like hey look my match is graduating but uh we want i wanted to give it to somebody else as well so it's fun to see who will be the last to be killed by brock lesnar so mm-hmm. are we doing like one for the men and one for the women is that what's happening yes. here? oh my goodness and now an exclusive for talking mayhem mania we will assign matches to be represented in the women's chamber matches for our forbidden door evening mm-hmm. now uh unfortunately there are seven matches on the card for the forbidden door evening i don't know how Do that what now? happened but there are seven so one match is going to be left off how That's many are on the wwe night six chad how the hell is this happening i don't know how that got away i, I think it was uh <laughs> did the lebanon dawn come back in tonight what happened <laughs> He did upset I, things. I thought we righted stuff back. No, I told you we we had to delete a match off the second night. Yeah. Well, we'll get there. I thought I, we eliminated the sure bussy we were, versus. We were I thought we eliminated six. the we bussy. Good match. to go. I but, thought uh, the bussy I, match was eliminated because it I'm wasn't on the sure The bussy match was eliminated. Yeah, I don't. It was I, it was eliminated, but it got changed. Yeah, yeah, it was eliminated once before, then it got changed. I don't have it being eliminated like last week. I have it on my notes as an active match. Okay. Can't argue with those notes, Chad. But so uh Matt, we're gonna let you pick. A, oh. A through F. You pick whatever matches you want. A A through F. Just give me a match or eight. Oh, give me a let give, give me a number or a letter. What do you want from me? Uh let's see. You don't. You have them. You. Uh, it's kind of hard, I guess, because you don't have the uh, the match card in front of you, huh? Mm-mm. Well, Chad, okay. Chad, how about this? How about this? Yes. You assign random letters to each of the seven matches you have listed. Okay. Uh, 
And Matt gives you six letters. The seventh letter, the people are put in space jail now. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm risking it too because I have a match on that on that night. Right. I just think it'd be fun. So I will just okay. Let's see here. Let's go. <laughs> D E F and G. What a thrill so, this is. A through G. Pick a letter, Matt. I will start with C, which of course is for so, cooking. Oh man. So we're gonna put C in space jail. Indeed. <laughs> That's what we're doing. It's Mad Mike's fault because I saw the C on it's, his sweater and it's I my match, isn't it? Off. No, it's all the people I can't pronounce. All yeah. right. <laughs> just, put oh. Frank, just put those four in space oh, jail. No. Now, wait Brian, a minute. Does, Brian Nichols going to be very upset at you. Does the Alex mm-hmm. Cars rule come into play here? I mean, no. it didn't survive the night, but mm, it yeah, did. I'm just trying it to think of a way to make this up to Ronnie Nichols. So we can have her back on and maybe a special, uh, maybe on Patreon or something, we can have her come in and just wreck things. <laughs> okay, so with that, I will move the letter C to G so that we have A through F. And I will hit my random draft order selector here. All right. Mm-hmm. Entry number one is Gorillas of Destiny, Pretty Boy Killers. Mm. Number two is... Effie and Catch and Rosa and Cage. Mm-hmm. Three is Nick Gage and Wardlow. Four, mm-hmm. Brian Danielson and Josh Alexander. Mm-hmm. Five, Fiend, Danhausen, and Joker Sting. <laughs> and six is Darby. White and Lee. Okay. <clears throat> now I don't know how many of you are following the product, but we do know who the sixth and final entrant in that, that women's would be Bianca Belair. Be. So Bianca is going to be representing the uh, the Jay White uh, Danhausen. No way, I got this messed up. The Jay White Joker's yeah. thing and Fiend match. There you go. My no, no, I, I got, I got, I got confused there. Jay White, Darby. Lee, Jay White, Lee, and Darby. Yeah. Okay. So they have too many, too, too, too many, too many emo gimmicks going on here. I can't, I can't keep it all. All right, it's a uh, lot of face paint. <laughs> there's a lot of a face, lot of face paint, paint, a lot of face yeah, paint, and black leather and sadness, and it's just yep. it's too much. I can't keep it straight. <laughs> so we kept it as random as we could. So yes, you do know that is a fact that Darby White and Lee will be represented by the last person to go into the chamber on the women's elimination chamber match. And that last person is Bianca Belair. There you go. Which is a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good wrestler. Can, I mean, that's, that's representing who you, that's who representing you your match. Or yeah, who, that's yeah, who you want. Was, uh, that's who you want. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I have a quick question before we, um, before sure. we go our separate ways here. Yes. Where is the Alpha Academy. Why has no one booked the Alpha Academy? Like they are just they're screaming for someone to like get on this bandwagon and put them in a match. Come on, what's that, going that on? That was what I learned this week in wrestling, Matt. That tag team wrestling actually had a place on Raw this week between the Mysterios and the Alpha Academy. And they had a very good match with a hot crowd. And I was like, I is this happening? Is this a tag team match with multiple commercial breaks that seems well, to have mean, the crowd engaged? It is happening. Matt, well, Matt, there, there's there's a lot of people that are making moves tonight too, and a lot of people are ignoring the WWE night. Mm. See, it's a lot of fun playing around in the Forbidden Door. Perhaps Chad can come up with a scheme that can bring some more attention to the WWE night. I'm sure he can come up. Well, with the uh, the elimination chamber is going to shake things up. 
Mm-hmm. It's going to auto <laughs> graduate two matches from each side, and it's going to put more people um, in space. Chad, jail. I have a question. It's going to be like them closing uh, one of the lanes on the highway while you're driving. Chad, I, I do have a question. Though. Yes. The uh, matches that get thrown in space jail, mm-hmm. who makes new matches to replace them? No comment. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see uh, okay. who those are, and uh, maybe we can uh, do something may, fun may, with that. May I suggest for night two that we see if Ryan Nicole wants to submit one via email? That's that's possible. We can, so, 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 you know, as as a, as a or you know, as as like a a make good. That's because it's her, very, her, yeah, her match can, was kind of. We can do Our that. Our match is kind of lost in the sauce because we didn't realize we had seven matches. And I do want to uh, – I would like to do something similar um, in scale to the uh, AEW pay-per-view, which I believe is, what, the beginning of March? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, definitely next month. So, yeah. The revolution will be televised. So, I mean, obviously, WWE has more premium live events. Then uh... don't use that. Don't use those. <laughs> don't use that. No they're swear pay- words, Chad. They're pay per swear words. <laughs> they're they're don't, peacock don't, don't per that stuff. Yeah. Pay-per-views. Gunther. Premium are you, are live paying, events. <laughs> are you paying to view it? Yes. Pay per view. It's fine. It's okay. I'm actually not paying to view any of me well, neither. I get a in a roundabout time. way. In a roundabout way, I am. But I, I, I get, guess technically, I get, no, 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 they throw it in there. They don't care. I get peacock for free, but I, I do. I guess somebody's touching money that I'm giving to somebody else. So apparently. I pay for it one way or another, but Chad, what's the ruling on what's the ruling on the codester? What's the ruling on Cody? Forbidden door. Well, no, well, he, we just have to ask this simple question. Can Vince McMahon pick up the phone and say, "Cody, can I see you on Monday?" And uh, from from what I've been reading, I, I brought this see up him on Saturday. I, yeah, I, I wanted to. I brought this up specifically because I been reading a lot of those reports today and apparently cody has absolutely no non-compete so he is free and wild he can show up literally anywhere he wants starting right now matt i was half expecting him to show up tonight to present the dusty cup i was was uh, half expecting it i was half expecting it i was um yeah when it was time i don't know did i put this in did i tweet this i don't know if i tweeted this or not but i was like whenever they're getting ready to present the trophy i was like the Shawn michaels gif with the uh, binoculars i was Mm -hmm. like I was like, Kira, no. Yeah, but Matt. Oh, I gotta the, tell you this. Yeah, we, we have the women's Dusty Classic. That's coming up too. Yeah. Maybe Brandy. Maybe they can get Brandy for that. That would yep. be more appropriate. But uh, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, to be honest, if if we just between you know the eight of us or however many people are here right now, um, uh, you know, we know that SmackDown it was recorded last week. It's in the can allegedly. Yeah. There's no reason. You can't like shoot like a little, you know, Lucha Underground style thing at the very, very end of Smack post credit scene at the end of SmackDown where Cody Rhodes gets out of a limo and gets onto a private jet and flies off. And you just go, holy fuck, you know, <laughs> that would land pretty good. We'll see. That, that's how I would do it. We'll see. And then he shakes hands with me and I say, welcome to Mayhem Mania. That's right. And then and then he cuts away and he just lands somewhere random. He, he went on a vacation. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't you didn't think I was going there. I was going to no, Fargo. He's, he's Fargo looking for beer. Yeah, he's I was just looking for beer. For beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, beer. No one's booked Veer yet. No Veer. He still hasn't made it to Raw. No Wendy Chu. Wendy Chu, come on. Uh, Matt, Chu crew, Matt, get into Matt. it. What? If, any of, get ma- there. if any of my matches graduate, I'm going to be using some underutilized people. But today Where's... was today was just about hurting others. Where's toxic <laughs> attraction? I watch too much NXT, which is saying I watch some NXT, and uh, it gets into my brain now. It's a big problem. So yep. I can see I really the tie dye. I can see it. I yeah, I see your I eyes. See nothing but colors now. So it's it's, it's nice. No more Skullbird NXT. It's nothing but Rainbow no more Raw. And Latin. That's right. No more Skulls in Latin. And no one has <laughs> booked William Regal for night two yet. Mm, no, one has, no one has decided. I'm surprised. I'm surprised DA didn't book uh, Danielson versus Regal. Gonna be honest. 
think it was just respect or, you know. I will I will say that um I'm not gonna reveal everything, but Regal is on my huge notebook for making him many matches. Okay. There you go. And things are going to get a lot more interesting because we're going to graduate some matches. We're going to put some more people in space jail. Uh, there are some more events coming up also, and you know, maybe not WWE, but AEW that will give us a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, have some fun with some stuff. Uh, the All the uh, Royal Rumble prizes for all that will be coming into effect after the Elimination Chamber. They will be boosted up, and we'll have some fun with that, with, uh, with everybody's... Uh, thing and you know grad yeah there'll be punishments handed out we'll hand out some uh some uh cinder blocks with chains on them when they start making matches and you know <laughs> weigh some people down with some uh some different choices and i'm sure we're gonna spin a wheel or two maybe you know put some different stuff on the wheel and have it spin and handicap some people do some very fun stuff and i feel like we built mm-hmm. built a nice foundation See, look at Sork. He's so sad. I just want to give him like, that a, wheel, price baby. Is, a price is right wheel so you can jump up. I never it. expected Sorg and that wheel to become so attached whenever we first introduced it, but I'm, I'm glad you two are getting along. They're best friends. Chad's right, though. We should get a larger wheel. If only we knew someone who could forge something darkly. And we could uh, perhaps fashion ourselves a, mm. a forged, a forged giant mayhem mania wheel. And especially, we could have it forged in a place where it wouldn't be difficult to transport. You really only have to or carry it up a flight of stairs. If we had the technology of screens and that were green or something, that <laughs> we could do anything. Do something with yeah. But there will be some nights here. Um, my schedule doesn't really allow too much of it right now, but coming closer, there will be some nights I will be in that studio. So we can... Fun. And we can do some fun stuff. Like spin wheels. That's all we'll do. We show up in person. <laughs> just, it's just you like, and, hey, round me, one, let's... spin a wheel. Round one, spin a wheel. I'll, I'll see picture? if I can bust out for like one night. I'll just show up. You and me, we'll just spin the wheel for like half an hour. Just back I'll back. do a run in, spin the wheel, run back out. Until until yeah, Ronnie will spin the wheel empty we'll counterclockwise. We'll be spinning we'll it clockwise. Ronnie runs in, spins it counterclockwise. Everything's messed up. <laughs> and then I'll say, "I gotta go home and go to sleep, guys." And then I'll run out the door. Mm-hmm. And it's then we'll be Thursday. like, "Why was no he here? Saying, no, it was Ron, Friday. It... We didn't even record that." <laughs> Steve, come back. Anyway, um, I don't even. But know that's that it. Happened. So we got we have a fun. Uh, I know, like, nobody really wants to watch it, but at least you'll have, uh, you can watch it via text or something on Twitter of who is in the Elimination Chamber match, how they're doing, and whatnot, if you don't want to watch it. Or you can tune in somewhere. Somebody will type out the results for you. But uh, there's no shortage of suckers like that willing to type out stuff yeah. as it happens on your wrestling TV shows on the internet. They're everywhere. And, and then you can conjure those words can go into your mind. You can conjure up these fantastic scenarios of fireworks and uh, amazingness and how much greater it actually is in your head than in real life. Mm-hmm. The power of the written or typed word. But it's a little extra for Elimination Chamber. Something fun for all the people who play our wonderful game. We would like to thank Tina for coming in and shaking some things up, making a good match. We will see her in the future for sure. Mad Mike. Go to hell. No. Wow. <laughs> we enjoy, we enjoy wow. having you, Mad Mike. You've been Alice Cars. Maybe we can turn your fortunes around here and you can Jeepers. have maybe you'll win the chamber. Who knows? I, I, I fucking better win one of those spots. I have three <laughs> matches on night one. Ronnie, thanks for staying up late on a Saturday. We appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know what day it is anymore. You're welcome. <laughs> it's tomorrow. You didn't know what day it was to start with. It is true. <laughs> it's so true. Well, enjoy yesterday. Matt, thanks for making it this week. Yeah, you're doing a great job. I'm trying. I'm really happy I'm to trying. see you holding it together, although I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that we apparently cannot maintain an even and stable number of matches on both nights of the card. It's starting to become a concern. 
It's we only happened it. about four or five times so far this year. So we're going to try to hold well, it together. You're doing a great job. Tonight, there's six matches on each card now. Like... So, and two <laughs> matches will graduate each. And then there'll be another match. So they'll end up, there's going to be three matches on each card next week. It's like saying you don't have enough car seats for all the kids. And you're just like, well, just leave one here. We'll just go. Strap them <laughs> to the roof. <laughs> 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 yep you know just like old grandma put her up on the uh, rocking chair strap her to the roof mm-hmm. we gotta get to vegas baby vegas! So I'm, I'm chad the shad thank you for tuning in to talking mayhem mania we will see you next week This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.